Hello and welcome. My name is Travis Bordley and I will be your guide on this virtual journey through the highlands of Rhone, highlighting golden wing warbler habitat management, spruce fir forests, and high elevation streams. In this three segment video tour, you will discover what makes these Rhone habitats unique and learn about interesting species that live here. The Rhone Highlands are one of the most biodiverse locations in North America, and the Southern Appalachian Highlands Conservancy's Rhone Stewardship Program manages and conserves these globally significant resources. Southern Appalachian Highlands Conservancy serves as a leader in continued stewardship of these habitats in the face of climate change and other ecological threats. So, take a visit with me and enjoy footage filmed on the ground during annual bird surveys, tree planting work days, and much, much more. The golden wing warbler is a neotropical songbird that migrates each year from South and Central America to the Rhone Highlands. These tiny birds can be found in shrubby, young forest habitats in the Great Lakes and Appalachian Mountains. According to the Cornell Lab of Ornithology, the golden wing warbler has one of the smallest populations of any songbird not on the endangered species list. Only an estimated 400,000 breeding adults remain range-wide, and we've seen a regional drop of 98% in the Appalachian Mountains since the 1960s. This trend is due in part to loss of breeding habitat, loss of wintering habitat in South America, and hybridization with the closely related blue-winged warbler. Southern Appalachian Highlands Conservancy is an active member of the Golden Wing Warbler Working Group, which recently released a conservation blueprint to boost the warbler's numbers by 50% within the next 50 years. As part of the working group, our staff have closely monitored these beautiful birds in the Rhone Highlands for almost a decade. Each year, in April and May, we rise before the dawn and strike out in search of golden winged warblers in remote locations. High elevation open areas and young forests across the Rhone Highlands are popular with a diverse range of birds. But the sweetest reward for waking up so early is finding the elusive golden winged warbler. Through the years, we have documented golden wing warblers on multiple of our preserves in the Rhone Highlands. We use grant funding to actively manage many of these properties. Because the Rhone Highlands are a stronghold for golden wing warblers, habitat management in this region is critical to the survival of the species. Their resilience in this special area is our inspiration to continue habitat management so that their shrill buzz will always have a home in these mountains. During the last ice age, red spruce and Fraser fir dominated the Southern Appalachian forest. But as the climate warmed, the spruce fir forests gradually retreated north to Canada into the tops of the highest peaks in the Southern Appalachians like you find here on Rhone Mountain. Along with the red spruce and Fraser fir, other unusual plants and animals were isolated on these sky islands, found only above 5,000 feet in elevation. In this cool, moist, Canadian-like habitat, you will find a host of rare and endemic species like the federally endangered spruce fir moss spider and the Carolina Northern Flying Squirrel that persist here and only in a few other places in the world. Rhone Mountain's forests were logged in the 1920s and 30s, and much of the red spruce, Fraser fir habitat was replaced with fast-growing hardwood species, 
isolating these dramatic sky islands and further endangering the species that depend on them. In the 1950s, a tiny insect, the balsam woolly adelgid, appeared in the southern Appalachians, resulting in much of the dieback of Fraser fir that you see today. Combined with acid rain and a changing climate, these sky island forests faced a steep decline. The Southern Appalachian Highlands Conservancy is part of the Southern Appalachian Spruce Restoration Initiative, and in 2019, we received a grant from the Cornell Lab of Ornithology Land Trust Bird Conservation Initiative to work on red spruce restoration in the Rhone Highlands. We used low impact forestry techniques to girdle single hardwoods and release understory red spruce to the canopy, giving them sunlight. We also conducted experiments into the impacts of ground cover on red spruce seedling recruitment and collected seeds for restoration. In 2021, we partnered with Appalachian Forest Restoration and Wicked Weed Brewing through a grant from Keep America Beautiful to plant over 5,000 red spruce seedlings. These plantings aim to connect Sky Islands on Rhone High Knob and Grassy Ridge for wildlife movement, while also shading multiple high order trout streams. This tireless work from partners and volunteers ensures that future generations will have the chance to explore these magical forests for years to come. Much can be said about the life-giving power of clean water that pours through our mountains. It all starts with a drop of rain high on a mountain ridge. It flows down to quench our thirst and feed our soul. It carves mountains into coves, hollers, and gorges, making homes for a slew of fish, reptiles, amphibians, small mammals, and macroinvertebrates. Southern Appalachian Highland Conservancy's land protection efforts prevent destruction of stream corridors and disturbance of soil along the sides of streams. Sedimentation is the most widespread cause of non-point source pollution in our region's waterways. Sediment in stream beds disrupt the natural food chain by destroying the habitat where the smallest stream organisms live, which causes declines in fish populations. Protecting headwater streams also prevents pollution downstream. If high elevation headwaters are destroyed or disturbed, all water quality downstream will be impacted. Conservation of trees and forest canopies along high elevation headwaters also protects stream shade, which helps keep water temperatures cooler and provides resilience to climate change. Brook trout is the only native species of trout found in the mountains of North Carolina and Tennessee. They need very cold, clean water in order to thrive. So protecting stream shade and riparian buffers along high elevation streams is critical for their survival. In the highlands of Rhone, Southern Appalachian Highlands Conservancy has worked with Trout Unlimited to replace stream crossings and improve stream health for trout and other aquatic species particularly along Roaring Creek in North Carolina and Hampton Creek Cove in Tennessee. Conservation preserves habitat for diverse aquatic species and resources that people rely on for drinking water downstream. Water is life, and Southern Appalachian Highlands Conservancy treasures it, just like you do.